Hello Berkeley, this is Gil Ponce again with your weekly update from the Board of Selectmen, or in particular myself as one of your selectmen, as to what I've been able to do over the past week for the town of Berkeley. This week has been a very interesting week. This has been more of an introspective week working with inside the town. But also I will state I actually just left a function that was put on by the Friends of the Library. There in the Common we had a touch a truck event for the kids where they fundraise a decent amount of money for it. And it was a quite a very successful event for the Friends of the Library so we can do some more funding for the library without touching the taxpayers' pockets. One very wonderful event, the library trustees Carla Lyman and Carol Antel did a wonderful job along with all the friends of the library, Along, and I was glad to help them out for a little while. But back on business track, one of the things I've been able to work on this week, and I'm very passionate about this issue, is I'm working on a government transparency issue. Government transparency to me happens to be one of the biggest and quite frankly, maybe the most important issue anyone can deal with. Just look at the halls of the United States Congress. That's how you know you need government transparency. And you see it in these small municipalities as well. One of the things I've decided to work on this week is I've been in discussions about maybe possibly a bylaw, possibly something of those regards about airing all the boards on television. I think it's a wonderful idea. I think it opens up the floodgates for government transparency. And I've also, on another issue, I've been looking at recent federal rulings and state rulings from the courts and different commissions and how it affects our personnel bylaws. And I will be bringing that up at our selectmen's meeting this Wednesday. And hopefully to keep you further informed on that. The 29th, we have a selectmen's meeting at 6 o'clock, but we also have one posted for 8.30 in the morning. It's going to be an interesting day. I know we have our special permit to look at for 29, not 29, um, 90 Bayview Avenue, pardon me. And we're going to be looking at that about possibly conforming the use of that. And I've been reading up on that. And it's a very interesting case indeed. And I look forward to hearing from both sides. I'm one of those people. I have to hear from both sides before I make a decision. I'm not very... I'm very open-minded when it comes down to stuff like this, and I love to hear what both sides have to say before I make a distinction. We also have been working on a couple of issues in regards to um, some staffing, and it's going to be very interesting the week ahead, and I'm excited for this week, and this past week has been a very productive week, as I had said, being working with personnel stuff and looking to update the bylaws, and also working on this government transparency issue, which I think is so important. I know everybody talks about wanting government transparency, but it's all about how far you actually go with it. Government transparency is crucial, and I am looking so forward to bring that here in the town of Berkeley. And I am brutally excited to bring up my ideas to the public on that issue. But, um... I will inform you next week as to the ongoings in these processes, and I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week, Berkeley, and I will talk to you next week.